What's going on, everyone? I just want to talk real quick and speak about essential oils and possibly the effects of them cleaning your air and just keeping you generally safe from this virus that's going around. I tried to do some research, uh, not research, just trying to look up some what other people are saying. Uh, no antiviral essential oils probably won't stop you. Probably. You don't really know, do you, Natalie Morris? Um, she claims that you don't that no one really knows if essential oils will help you or not and i think they will because if we think of the electric universe viruses are electrically charged just like everything else in our bodies and their and our body cells have voltages so what are these what are the voltages of these viruses that are attacking cells that are weakened right and if essential oils can raise your vibrational frequency or raise your your voltage body voltage or your body your cellular voltages and keep them safe from these viruses then i would say then absolutely yes uh, use essential oils on a daily basis put them in a diffuser i mean they can't help they can't hurt can they unless you use them improperly which you know i have i mean oregano burned my face i use it on my and i actually got a nice little scar that's healing but uh yeah that you know there's some dangers like calamus root i ingested that once i was puking like for a whole day i thought i was gonna die so yeah there are dangers with essential oils i've experienced them and uh you know just be careful with what you do research everything before you do something you know have an informed method methodology towards your health and I am going to just do a disclaimer. I'm not a doctor, but I am, I guess, a herbologist, or I study herbs, or I study the effects of plants on the body. And uh, I don't think modern medicine properly cures people. It just treats symptoms. And I feel if we got back into uh, natural curing methods with plants that are older than man, um, then what's there to lose other than the current model of healthcare? You know, maybe people should start growing their own herb gardens or perhaps there's something wrong with their area that's causing the air to have a low voltage and it causes corona to come in. Like China, for instance, they're always polluting. Um, they treat their animals like shit. Uh, they're disgusting. A lot of people in China are fucking disgusting. I'm not and I'm not saying that doesn't happen here. There's a lot of disgusting shit here too. And I'm sure there's really awesome Chinese people who care about their animals and they love them and uh, but for the most part the industrialization, you know, I mean it creates a lot of pollution. I mean every nation that's gone through an industrial age has had these issues and you know, we had ours back in the 1800s or whatever it was and you know we've gone through that pollution and now you know we're reeling from it like bethlehem steel you know a perfect example i live in the rust belt region but anyways i digress i'm talking about antivirals and the essential oils so let's keep on task here so electrically charged essential oils it's a true thing every cell is designed to run at a specific voltage and frequency so in general diseases occur when cells do not have enough voltage and are running at a low frequency this is where the little known effect of essential oils comes into play essential oils are the highest frequencies of any substance tested so far a high quality rose oil tops the frequency charts at 320 megahertz with harmonics at 160 and 80. Lavender oil tests at 118 megahertz with a harmonic of 59. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Humans test at 62 to 68 megahertz with individual organ systems testing at different frequencies. Furthermore, individual essential oils contain hundreds of frequencies. Certain oils and blends of oils contain frequencies that correspond to specific organs. The frequency of rose oil is higher than any human cell frequency, but its harmonic include 160 megahertz and 80 millihertz. I think in megahertz, millihertz, I'm not sure. I didn't look. <laughs> Sorry. I guess I should. So I stopped if I'm reading it wrong. Um, megahertz. Okay. So I was right. Anyways, megahertz and 80 megahertz with a human brain operating at 70 to 78 megahertz rose oil can transfer energy to the brain because of similar hertz range so it can raise your frequencies essential oils and plants raise your frequencies it's just like when you take 
like a drug like you take some psilocybin or you take some LSD or you take something that's increasing your frequency in your body to a re- to like a a tone above normal that's why probably you go through dimensions and stuff and you go through other altered states because your frequencies are higher and that can be done naturally through meditation people do all the time my brother's big on that um I just kind of make fun of his his terms and how he describes it. He is not very scientific on it, so I kind of like make fun of him once in a while because I want him to be able to explain it, but he can't. Call he calls it resonance and stuff, but it's like it's your frequency of like your brain is your tool. It is your it's like a it's a tone. Um, it's like a tuning fork, you know, and and it's an instrument. So, so back to this, the follower, let's read some more here. The follower things in life also have specific frequencies. Viruses, bacteria, germs, and mold have frequencies, although much lower than plants and essential oils. A synthetic essential oil or simply an inferior quality oil that may not be noticeably different certainly will have not the same frequencies. So that's what I mean. You have to have high quality, happy plants. And this is why I started that company. I started K Organics because I am going to increase frequencies through my fertilizing of plants and then I'm going to eat those plants I'm going to gain a higher frequency and it's because it's my works that's what I do I want to heal people I'm sick of this I'm sick of the, the low frequency vibration people it's just like walk around zombies a walking dead it's so annoying and it's all you know I people have a choice you know I I raise my frequencies I decided to make that happen you know now I'm making videos now I'm trying to help others through this and because I feel like I owe it to them because I didn't, you know, I wasn't charged anything to do this. I, you know, the internet is full, is a wealth, a well of knowledge, and you could use it, you know, your dual purposes. You can use it for good or bad. You can waste your time. You can gain time. I don't know. You can do all kinds of things. But so some essential oils that I use to help combat viruses and bacteria, things that don't really, shouldn't be in my body that harm it. Uh, I'm just going to go over some that I use. I use thyme, oregano, lavender, St. John's wort. Uh, they have all these. You can go to Feel Right. They have them right there. They're pretty good quality. I, I trust Feel Right and their ability to deliver stuff. That's in my area. I live in New York um, near near Lake Erie, and uh, they offer a wide variety of herbal blends they're very convenient to the story, but I don't. I don't always know the quality. That's why I want to grow my own. That's why I make everything organic. That's why I want to, you know, love my plants so they'll give me the love back. And uh, one more here, I use. It's called Kraton Leshleri, and that's called Dragon's Blood, and it's solid. SP three hundred three. They actually, I think they've extracted this and made it uh, something. Uh, drug I forget it's like coffer or something and I also take Artemisia Anua this is another strong super strong antibacterial this is like the strongest in the world these people make the best I, I took this back in January when I got really sick and oh my god I thought I really did think I I thought I had corona back then like I made a video it was like that 36 minute video of me reading that book and I also made that NASA video when I was really sick too I couldn't even like finish it I was so sick. I had laryngitis for four weeks. But yeah, so that's all. That's what I take. I take these herbs. I take I take many more. I have like a huge cabinet of essential oils. And I wish I had rose. My, I have a friend who's growing roses. And hopefully this summer I'll be able to get some of those petals and make either some rose oil or, or rose water or something. Just because the, the rose is so amazing. It's such a perfect, perfect plant flower whatever to enhance your frequencies you saw for yourself i just read that article it's got the highest frequency of most plants the rose and the rose is a very symbolic thing it's you know you give someone a rose you want to marry it's uh it's a symbol of life you know it's like a ruby ruby's like the strongest vibrating gemstone too so it's just the color red it's the color of life color of our blood you know so there's some information Hopefully, people can utilize it. And like I said, I'm not a doctor. I, I read medical journals. I read medical information. I just pass it along to those who wish to uh, 
hear it, you know, I guess that's the meek, you know, people willing to help themselves. So those are who these videos are usually for. So thanks for watching. Take care.